Hey YouTube, thanks for stopping by the channel. Thanks for clicking play today. Today we are over in Marietta, Georgia. We are at Rap Engineers. We're going to get ExoShield windshield protection put on the Z06 today. We are going to be doing a good bit of driving here in the near future. We're going to be going to Bowling Green for the bash. We're going to be going to Corvettes and Carlisle in August. So just wanted to put some on because I want to keep the factory glass as pristine as I possibly can. There's some really cool little features on the factory glass that make it cool, and I don't want to lose those. Plus, for just me being one of those car guys that I just want everything factory, I keep you know any aftermarket parts I put on, I keep the originals. So I want to keep the car as factory as I can for long term as far as resale value, collectability, all that stuff. But I want to show you a couple of little things that on the factory glass that I want to keep, but we're going to be getting into the install here uh, at Rap Engineers. They're going to take good care of us today. All right, so... One of the things, looking at um, the front end of the car here, the factory glass has a little silhouette of Zora here, which I think is really freaking cool, and I would really want to keep that if I could keep it. Um, again, protect it as much as we can. It's the factory glass. You know, we haven't put many miles on the car, um, so it's still looking amazing. I know it's really kind of cheap to replace them if, you know, it's like 500 bucks for the glass for aftermarket and then 300 for the install. But, you know, the Team Corvette here, you know, there's all kinds of things that I want to keep as far as the factory glass goes. You know, again, I, I would like to protect it for me. Uh, it's going to be worth it to put the exo shield on, protect the factory glass. I can, you know, if it ever gets, um, you know, nicked up or chipped up, I can take that off and replace it and keep the factory glass uh, looking factory. So um, we'll get a little bit more once we get the car inside. Again here, so you can see the information on the door here. Wrap engineers over here in Marietta. They're by appointment only. Uh, those are the hours. That's the telephone number. If you need uh, PPF, you need vinyl wrap, you need the exo shield for your windshield, just uh, give them a call and they can hook you up. All right, let's head on in. Here we are in the lobby here. They got a nice little waiting area for you. This is probably where I'm going to spend the next few hours of the day while I'm waiting to get this done. I actually have to get into work later tonight. Um, but just want to kind of give you the layout of the shop here. Nice little area for you to wait. Air conditioned. Nice. I have to say we got caught in a little bit of rain yesterday. It's a little bit dirty. It's going to need a wash before the bash. But uh, all in all, it's still looking pretty doggone good. And I love all these carbon fiber accents that we've got on the car now. Cannot wait to get our carbon fiber Z07 wing from Paragon Performance later in the year and get that installed. Um, that's going to look really, really awesome. So they've got the door open here. They're going to be pulling the car in shortly and getting to work on the windshield. Um, I'll introduce you to the owner here in just a little bit, but uh, looking good. All right, so we got the car pulled in here. I uh, got the owner of the shop, Jax, over there. Say hi, Jax. He's going to be taking care of us today. We're going to put on the exo shield. So the exo shield is going to go over the windshield, uh, just almost like a PPF, but it's six times uh, chip protection as far as the hardness. It's 88% uh, as far as uh, visibility through it and 99.9% .9 UV. So um, not only with that, it will help you keep your car cooler uh, when you get it installed because it's going to cut out on the UV, and then it should be just – pretty much undetectable when it's on the car. But I like the idea of six times the paint chip or the rock chip protection because I do not want those little pox all through my windshield. And then, like I said, have to pay for a factory replacement to get the factory replacement stuff because the aftermarket stuff won't have this these cool little Chevy features on them. So, But uh, we're going to let him get to work here, and then uh, we're going to check in later, and uh, we'll see how the progress goes. Hang in there, guys. So Jax was just explaining as part of the install here, he pulls out the trim here and then takes his piece off. And then that way the installation as it goes in is just basically seamless. It just goes on. It'll be underneath the trim from the factory. So you won't even see it at all. So you won't even be able to tell that it's on there. So that's really, that's really awesome. <laughs> well, it's about the only thing that comes off easy between the bumper and the front. Like there's. 50 screws. <laughs> yeah, it's so awful. Do you take them off too, like to PPF them, or do you just do it on? Uh, no, so like the PPF, I'm doing the full front note. Okay. Uh, sometimes when you have to do like the whole body, 
some places you might have to, depending on how crazy or you know. Gotcha. I know when we had to take the back off to do the exhaust, it it was like oh yeah yeah oh it was terrible. It was terrible. All right, so. There's one more. Oh. Well, you guys can see here, he's about to take it off. You can so, see. It's much easier when you do the install. And this is going to hide it. And and it'll come out and just tuck right under and it'll come Tuck right under and this is going to hide it. Awesome. And you can't even tell it's on there. That's the top awesome. is going to be seamless as well. So. Oh, I love it. All right, so just getting started with the process here. Just soap and water. He ran a soft abrasive pad over it just to get it clean, get everything off of it. And then uh, he'll get the exo shield put on. It's crazy how this stuff just comes right off. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. And then when the exo shield's on, it's just basically treat it like a regular windshield, right? Clean it the same way. I don't have to do anything special with it. Same way. You don't need a lot of maintenance. It's, a, it's pretty new, so you don't have to even change your windshield wipers. Nice. Usually after you install this, it's best recommended you uh, change your windshield wipers. So you don't scratch it up? Every year. Okay. You spend $20 just right. to... So every year it. change the wipers, gotcha. Make sure you prolong the... Life of it. And you said it was three years on the warranty on that? Correct. And you're a one man shop? No, no, no. My my guys are um, doing some work in Atlanta right now. Oh, okay. So I would need everybody here just to do this job. Right. <laughs> so we have a project we're working on. Atlanta. Nice. Yeah, you guys do like residential too? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, that's what my buddy just got. Yeah, yeah, my buddy got into doing like residential, like windows and commercial right. stuff like that. Yeah. It's a lot of commercials that we are in the doing. Nice. So the initial trimming, just generic, cutting off all the excess is done. Yeah. And then uh, he's imagine about you're about to, to get squeezy time. Yeah, so what I usually do is I use a new one of these buffing pad. Um, it's called banana buffers. Okay. So you want to get a fresh one All every right. time you usually do it. <laughs> That's just wild, man. Definitely cheaper than a new windshield. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> So the heat just stretches it out. Yeah, so you want a uh, bunch of fingers. So so the fact that this is not a straight, uh, a flat windshield, right? you have to shrink it to kind of, um, what's that, fit it into the actual windshield. Okay. I forgot what the term is called, but it's kind of like tent. It's so a lot like tent. Yeah, if this was, uh, if this was flat, it would just like sit perfectly. Right, right. But, now your average windshield is very curved, so all you have to the master do is it little, or kind of uh, 
So you like to do most of your shrinking in the bottom? Yeah. All right. so I don't have to deal with too much on the top. But I feel like for some reason the top is a bit more funny that <laughs> Yeah, gravity pulls down. Right. You know, so you're going to get gravity this really... Well, it's really cool to just see the process. It's awesome. Yeah. All right. So as you can see, the shrinking is going on now, and most of it's starting to come together. It's looking yep. good. Looking really good. Hey, the patience it takes for them to do this. I don't have that patience. God, God like patience. <laughs> so you were just reapplying it. Once you shrink it, it stays that shape? Pretty much? Yeah, once you shrink it, it stays that shape. That's uh, awesome. So all I got to do now is just start to trim. I'm still going to trim the bottom, the top. I just want to make sure it's all shrunk evenly. Because if you get everything the way it should, it should... Um, That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know that once you shrunk it, it, it stayed that way and you could lift it up and do it. Is that the same way with like wrap? Is the same thing that like once you shrink it or is that a little no, bit different? No, wrap is different. Okay. Yeah. Tint is, is almost the same as, almost is the same as this when you do it as well. Gotcha. And this stuff's pretty thick too. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't see any rocks getting through that. <laughs> Look, if it's big enough to get through that, your windshield is done. <laughs> yep. uh, it's really thick, bro. Yeah, it is really thick, yeah, man. Even the thing thicker than the your uh, PPF. Yeah, no, that's really thick. Like I said, if a rock goes through that, your windshield's done, bro. Like, done. <laughs> and probably the rest of your car. <laughs> no, if a rock is it, it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was meant to be. <laughs> I love it. Tell you something. <laughs> All right, so how'd you get into the tent slash ceramic coat? And the wrap? Business? The wrapping business. Um, funny thing is, it was like right after college. Because right you got an electrical engineering degree. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, so I graduated. You know, everybody was excited. Oh, yeah, finally go have fun in Miami. You know, we, was, we decided we were going to go to Miami Beach. And, um,. All my friends, we all went down there, and I was just, you know, I was at the beach, and I, was, I seen a gold car. I was like, hold up, why is it gold? Is somebody actually painted this gold? <laughs> <laughs> they painted this gold? I was like, no way. So when I went a little closer, I said it was a wrap. And I was like, whoa, for somebody, you know, I was always in the car. So the fact that a car was wrapped gold and it wasn't painted, for some reason, it just clicked. I was like, as much as I, I was excited to go start my degree and go work a job, I started looking at YouTube videos and I was fascinated by like people rapping cars. And ever since then, I've been rapping. Awesome. That's, yeah. that's great. You're like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I love it, man. You work, look, it's now weird. you're your own boss, got your own shop. Yep. That's what it's about, man. I wake up every day and I enjoy what I do. Hey, if you wake up every day and enjoy what you do, it's not really work. Oh, yeah. It's a job. I love it. I love it. So it's all shrunk and everything. And then he's got it wetted down here over on a glass table that uh, he's going to pull it off and put on. And then just mm -hmm. clean the windshield one more time. And then it'll go on and mm -hmm. that'll be it. Can never be too clean. Never be too clean. I'm embarrassed to show the back of the car from it getting caught in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah, and if you're thinking about, you know, Expel, Wrap, you know, the, you know, Exo Shooter, any of this stuff, if you get a new car, do it as early as you can. So that way there's not a lot of stuff that has to be taken off of the car. It doesn't need paint correction, any of that stuff. Like, you know, you can get it done early and, you know, It'll again. Save you a bunch of dollars. Save you a bunch of dollars. That's right. See what I do. So... Hold it down.
Hopefully you can. Good thing the shop is really clean, so. Yeah, you know, you got a clean shop, man. You never have to worry about any kind of dust. Any kind of, you know. Make sure all edges is lined up and uh, pretty much you're good to go. And then you just spray it down and spray squeeze you the down, bubbles out? Squeeze in. Squeeze nice. In pretty much ready to go. Awesome. Looks like it's just disappeared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's going to be much clearer than this. I'm just taking sure the lines are pretty much consistent. Once you're done. Yeah. Um, I would typically let it sit outside for a good maybe 30 minutes uh, okay, under the no sun worries. and just make sure everything is like cured out. You got it. Um, on the special on the edges. And then uh once you're done with that. You know, you can't even tell where the edges I start, know, right? Where the actual glass meets. Yeah, you can't even see. Can I see it's clear. You know, you see how we got this line right here? So when we cover that, you can't even tell where the line is. <laughs> That's awesome. It'll be invisible. Pretty much. And to keep me from getting chips. No more chips. No, no <laughs> chips, please. No more chips. <laughs> Backed it out here in the sun to just kind of let it cure a little bit. But just look at I me, mean, you can't tell at all. And if you look up here on the corner, I mean, you can't even tell that, even zoomed in, it's very hard. The trim piece will go over that anyway, but I mean, you have no idea that's on there. None whatsoever. All right, well, that's it for today, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. If you are in the market for PPF, you're in the market for a vinyl wrap, exo shield for your windshield, and you're in the Atlanta metro area, you need to get over here to Wrap Engineers. It's wrapengineers.com on the web. It's Wrap Engineers on Instagram and Facebook. Check them out. Jax is the guy you need to ask for. He's the owner. He'll take good care of you. Very happy today with the service we got. We got our exo shield installed. We're getting ready to go to the NCM bash next week, so that way we don't have to worry about rock chips or any of that stuff. It's good for three years. As far as the warranty goes, so you don't have to worry about anything. And it's pretty thick. I mean, I don't see anything coming through that that wouldn't just break your windshield anyway. So <laughs> you should be in good shape once you get this extra shield put on. If you haven't already, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Help us grow this channel. Help us keep bringing you good content like this. And we'll see you next time.